good evening and welcome back guys so tonight we're moving away from animals and we're going back to conspiracy theories i realize it's been a while since we did flat earth so let's do did we land on the moon did it really happen and let's go down this now when the moon landing happened in 69 it immediately became a conspiracy theory so this isn't even something recent this people saw it live were flabbergasted and then immediately went into why there's no way that fucking happened there are many an old gentleman or lady out in the world that have been touting this theory for generations <laughs> uh, and their questions and they always seem to fall on um like why can't we see the stars why are the shadows funny why does the flag move why is his footprint there um nazis are there the moon's not even real okay so it goes from like sensible questions way over to mm, i think you fell off the logic train there bud uh so let's let's go and answer some of these questions let's let's see what happened okay so the very first one you'll always hear is it was the 60s the technology wasn't even there to which it was <laughs> um i get that it wasn't in your home and it was in um you know mass produced as fast as our technology has been from computer to what we have now for our cell phones and stuff but the technology was there nasa was always working on this stuff and as they were working they fucking did it so um now i mean i will say the whole idea so people say logically russia started doing shit we were against it was cold war times we were like really we gotta beat russia for american pride if anything uh so when russia started putting shit in space we of course had to put shit in space now for some people this is all the reason you need to know that obviously it's think about the times this is obviously why we pushed to do this but for other people, they go, well, this is obviously why they fucking fake it. Just to fucking get Russia to stop doing shit. Okay. So, you have to uh, wonder, okay, so even if I do say spaceships could make it, we did have the technology to do that. Did we have the, <laughs> did we have the technology to film it? Cameras wouldn't go. Hmm? Hmm? Well, to that, NASA says, uh, yeah, we, that's why they sent up like dogs and monkeys first. Uh, they also sent up different materials to test and make sure that the final product that made it, uh, was the product that worked. So yeah, they were working on the camera. No, they did not just send up a Polaroid camera that you can get at Walmart. Like that wasn't how that worked. It was a specialized camera that could record and then it sent it back to NASA. Now, on the camera track, some people will always say, well, it's sus because you can't watch those tapes now. And they're right. They lost those fucking tapes. And that's all NASA can really say about it is my bad. <laughs> uh, they're fucking gone. And it was live streamed technically, uh, but it got a little deeper than that because it was more like NASA was getting footage and then NASA had to project the footage and then you were getting that projection that's why the video nasa actually had was so much crisper so much cleaner and the video we all watched at home or we see more often is this very gritty low contrast very dark kind of footage uh but they were seeing much better much crisper footage uh and they did lose the fucking tapes so mm, I'm, I'm, i could see how conspiracy theorists could be like oh you just lost the tapes i mean eh. Mistakes do happen, but fishy. <laughs> um, you also got, uh, oh no, oh, the shadows. Their shadows were off. Why are there shadows? There's multiple shadows. That the only light coming in was from the sun. How are there multiple shadows? To this, we have to know that the moon's uh, covered in this shiny dust. It's very shiny, it's very reflective. So the light hitting off the moon, and then it's bumpy is now so we all know light goes ping ping not just ping, you know it's not just darkness it's not a black void so it goes ping 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 and so that's what's happening uh, you do have to kind of look like there i feel like there would be a lot more super professional uh photographers who could easily go eh, seems sus but they don't tend to say that 
you know, they kind of go, but nah, that makes sense. The, you know, ping, ping of the light. It didn't make sense. You also have, um, why weren't they flying? A lot of people want to point out, okay, it's the moon. The gravity is almost nothing. Uh, why weren't they fucking flying? Why did they not take a step and go, whee? Well, one, they themselves weigh like 200 pounds. Okay. Two, the uniform they have on, their astronaut suits, were like an extra <laughs> over a hundred pounds okay so they're a lot heavier even in space for to just go floating away they also if you notice aren't taking these giant athletic just whoosh jumps because that would be dumb because if they came flying back down and crack something they would just suffocate um so that's probably why you don't see them just like cartwheeling it around the moon just superman in it it just wouldn't be a smart thing to do you know you just you're kind of stuck in fucking space, bro. I, I personally would be like, oh, that was a little too high for me, <laughs> you know, with just one step. So I could see why they were like, mm, no, thanks. I don't want to do that. <laughs> you also have people who will be, there's no stars. Why are there no stars in the picture? Well, that's just uh, simple photography. The focus was on the people and the flag. So it, uh, does not focus on the background. If they had focused on the background and not on the people in the front, you'd be able to see the lights of other stars. But, you know, cameras can't all focus. And we are, once again, talking about a little older technology than more modern technology. Some people like to go, well, why would we even go? What's even the point? Other than the competition with Russia, what is even the fucking point? There's nothing there. To which you can kind of go, oh uh, yeah, you're not fucking wrong. They kind of know, while humans have been obsessed with exploration, we pretty much know that for the amount of money and time it would even take for us to get to another planet, let alone, I mean, the moon's our closest thing and that takes us three days. Mars is our next closest. We still haven't figured that one out. And we're not likely to find like diamonds and gold or some super valuable thing that would even it might pay itself off but it's you're still looking at a money hole for the most part which is why a lot of people um kind of do go yeah maybe the government shouldn't be funding this stuff maybe private businesses should and more recently we can see as uh, that one billionaire shot himself into space that that might be the way to go when private enterprises get involved uh, you can see things kind of move a little faster too and it's not falling on the taxpayer's shoulders to uh, explore this stuff. But you also want, some people will go, well, we have to explore. Our planet isn't gonna last forever. Um, we also might need to know what the fuck's out there because the idea, I think it is kind of crazy to think we're the only living beings in any fucking universe. I don't think we are. And I, so I could see where people are like, we need to know what the fuck's out there. We need to know, we need to at least be able to see maybe pre-plan some things uh if our earth doesn't work out can we go to mars can we go to the moon can we make a colony uh these are all reasons to go because you need to be able to just go in the first place uh and to make it something that becomes so second nature of oh we're going to the moon friday you know so i think that one is a little closed-minded of like what are, what do are we even need to be there for well, there's a lot of reasons you could talk about going at, even other than just curiosity like it kind of matters, these things, to know what's around you. Um, and I feel like we know we went to because technology, just from that, just from us trying to get to the moon, fucking exploded from the things we found. This is just some. This is just, just a taste. Just a little, and little nibs, okay? This isn't even all of it. Uh, from medical tech, we got x-ray. We got better vaccine. We got uh, how to search for breast cancer better. Um, we got ear thermometers. We got robotic surgeries out of that. Uh, for travel, you got uh, safety grooves on the highway. <laughs> My handwriting's terrible. You want to see this? Look at that. Terrible. But yeah. Uh, scratch resistant lenses. Uh, GPS. Something we all fucking. I don't even. I was a kid who grew up with MapQuest, okay? I didn't always have GPS, and now I can't even fucking imagine I have major anxiety attacks if my phone dies and I don't have my GPS. Uh, these all came and, <laughs> lube, you know, uh, also came from this. All things that NASA and its scientists 
were trying to think of ways something could make better in space that went on to just do something here on Earth that was pretty fucking great. Uh, so it matters to do these kind of things. And the fact that we got these things kind of proves that they're doing something, you know? They're not just like totally sitting on their ass. <laughs> I did, uh, so the astronauts who went were of course Buzz Aldrin. Uh, oh my God. <laughs> it was Buzz Aldrin, Neil Armstrong, and the lesser known uh, Michael Collins. We don't hear about him much. He kind of stayed on the ship. He didn't get to walk. But these men lived for a very long time. And this is also kind of proof. You have to go with, when you're going with a theory like this of, oh, this was all faked. This is NASA being full of shit. You, one, have to go with. You are also believing thousands of people are just lying and that they took that shit to their grave. And knowing humans, we don't take shit to our grave, especially if it's something we could make money off of okay like that they're just lying and they're not and when you talk about the astronauts who actually went these men were amazing okay they were amazing i might have to do each of them on their own because you're talking about phds you're talking about soldiers pilots uh men who even after the moon went on to do amazing things uh, to keep science uh i think it was buzz who created stem programs that you hear I mean, that's just a regular word in my household, having kids. School STEM programs are everywhere now, thanks to him. Um, he even, they did not like being called liars, for sure. And he had this guy call and uh, tell him he was going to give an interview for a Japanese show. And when he got there, he was really just like a paparazzi asshole to call. And he called him a fake. He called him a coward. I mean, he, Buzz tried to walk away, but he just kept fucking with him. And finally, Buzz turned around at 73 years old and just fucking clocked this guy. Uh, he tried to take him to court. The judge was like, meh, self-defense. Carry on, you know? Uh, I think, which is, that's badass. That's a badass video to look up. Just this old, amazing soldier just fucking clocking this guy. And I also think this is along the lines, too, of one I probably will never do. Uh, the faked holocaust one i don't think i'll ever delve into that because that one makes me so angry but i will have to say this one kind of follows along those lines a lot of i mean people died doing this uh trying to get to space dying in space those were those men's friends and colleagues and you're pretty much saying that their lives i i know some of you almost even kind of believe they don't exist at all but they did exist and they gave up their life for this and these men are just lucky to have made it back and there and back again but uh i could i see if it was totally fake these men would not be so impassionate be so passionate about something for so many years eventually they just be like yeah fuck it it was fake whatever you know or they would have if they were if you're that kind of person who would fake something so big you're that kind of person who would take a payoff eventually like once that media kind of died down and you weren't making so much off of it i could totally see that kind of person you know, writing their tell-all book, you know, it just, I can't, <laughs> I keep forgetting cameras are turned, anyways, <laughs> so you have to also question, where does all this come from, actually, while only about three to six percent of Americans uh, actually believe this, which is millions, okay, it's not like, it's embarrassing, but actually, it's like 30 percent over in Russia, that's because Russian the Russian government put out a huge propaganda campaign calling us liars pretty much. And so I think a lot of that has trickled over here because obviously we get immigrants and stuff. And I think that has trickled and then they tell their propaganda and then some Americans are going, you know what? That kind of makes sense. I kind of like that, you know? Uh, but yes, it is way more of a Russian belief than an American belief. And we can see why. They didn't want to fucking lose because Russia is supposed to be the greatest government in the world, you know? Okay. Why does the flag move? Uh, inertia. Not wind. It's because of inertia. It's when he... It's... They put wires in the flag to make it taunt. And when he, you know... It, uh, hit the ground and causing it to move a little. So most scientists have watched that and went, uh, that's fucking inertia. And that movement makes sense for inertia, not wind. Uh, why is there a footprint if there's no mud and the wire? Um, 
kind of the same idea. There's no weather. There is no weather. There is no water. There's no wind. The only way that footprint would disappear is if a meteor or some other space object flew in and knocked it over, you know, or like fell on it. So that's why. There's nothing to disturb the footprint. It's just there. Um, you also have people who think it was photoshopped. I mean, I there is no way to prove that it wasn't, but we are talking about a time when that would have been a hell of a lot of work and uh, a very talented person because it's not like Photoshop was on everyone's phone back then. So maybe, I mean, if you're that far down the rabbit hole, then sure, why not? You just keep believing that. Uh, now, that's all the reasonable, that's all the reasonable beliefs and the rebuttal for them on why, and well, if you just did a little more education, you'd see why these, I see why you are believing this, but if you were a little more educated, where it would go. Now onto the wackadoos. So you have people who believe the Nazis in the forties made it to the moon. And that's where they escaped to, okay? That's where they've been, okay? When Neil and his boys landed, okay, they found them. And there's two minutes in the recording where there's nothing. There's no audio, there's nothing. In those two minutes, these people believe he talked to Hitler. He got them to chill the fuck out, you know? He made things cool, copacetic, copacetic, you know? And he was able to return to die with the secret, okay? That Hitler and his boys made it to the moon and have a whole base. It's all on the dark side. That's why we've never seen it. It's all on the dark side, okay? Nazis are on the fucking moon. You also have the people uh, like David Icke who believe the moon is not even a moon. That's how we didn't land there. That's how he knows we didn't land there. It's not even a fucking moon. It is the lizard. I'm dead fucking serious. This is a belief. He wrote a whole fucking book about it. The lizard people, the Illuminati, okay, they built this, it looks like a moon, it's more of like a satellite type thing, and it is mind control, okay, it's keeping all of us sheeple in line to work, that's what the fucking moon is, the moon is not a moon, <laughs> and to those people I just go... <laughs> Okay, because <laughs> you know what? You can't argue that. I can't fucking argue that. Well, I got nothing. You just, okay, that sounds great. <laughs> I mean, you have every scientist in the world looking at you like you just shit an egg. But you know what? You, you keep trucking with your lizard Illuminati beliefs. <laughs> so, I mean, that's pretty much it. That's the uh, moon landing in a, in a quick 20-minute rant did we go i yes i believe we went i did just logically i just believe we went nobody's come forward to ever try to be like the truth is out there i worked for nasa i mean hell there are people who believe nasa doesn't even really exist so for this conspiracy theory i'm going with the history of it it did happen we did make it to the moon and those men are pretty fucking cool for it and some dogs were involved and monkeys we should all know their names too uh, Russia made statues of their dogs. <laughs> Actually, Russia sent two huskies up. Those two huskies did come back. And they gifted some puppies over to Kennedy's. And they had puppies. So their their lineage is still alive to this day of moon puppies. Well, they didn't make them moon. They're space puppies. They, like, orbited it like a satellite or something like that. Anyways, <laughs> like, subscribe. Tell me what you think. Do you believe the moon is full of lizard Nazis? Or did we land on it? Uh, also, is there anything you would want me to rant about for 20 minutes as a quick synopsis? <laughs> like, subscribe, let me know. You guys have a great night. <laughs>